Compressors can't compress a signal until it exceeds the threshold, so the audio isn't compressed until the compressor can react. This can produce a pop when the compression kicks in. The look-ahead function solves this by delaying the audio we hear, but the compressor monitors the audio in real time. Then, the compressor knows in advance when levels change and can apply compression at just the right time to the delayed audio. For compressors without look-ahead, add a pre-fader send from your audio track to a bus. Insert a 2 millisecond delay line followed by a compressor in the bus. Then create another pre-fader send to the compressor's sidechain input. Turn down the audio track's fader to hear only the bus output. Now, you hear the delayed audio, but the compression kicks in 2 milliseconds ahead of the audio we hear, and the nasty pop goes away. <laughs>